Hey kid, and welcome to this mathematical kid time story time. Oh, 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 oh! Hey, Olivia the ostrich. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, storyteller, but I couldn't help but notice this beautiful sunflower on the cover of your book. Oh yes, sunflowers measure up. Yes, yes. I love sunflowers. They happen to be my favorite flower of all, and in my garden, I love having a row of them. Oh, and how they reach up to the sun. Oh. Well, actually, actually, um, this is not a book necessarily about sunflowers. However, they also can help us besides being beautiful. Yes, they can help us with our math. Oh, well, that's a neat trick. I'll have to listen to this one. All right. Sunflowers Measure Up by Diane Ockeltree, who, by the way, sent us this copy. That's right. This is the author's personal copy so you know this book is VIP and she sent it because she wanted you to read it so yes you have every right to feel extra special about this story. Good morning Mr. Gardner says as he walks into his third grade classroom today is the day we decide on our class project. Sarah looks out the window at the playground why don't we plant a flower garden she asks yes say Kisha and Mark Let's go for it, says Jamie, and the other kids in the class start clapping. Look at that, they're all clapping. They love the whole planting a garden idea. Oh, and you know why they love it. Look at this classroom. It's full of a flora and fauna. No, maybe not the fauna part, but the flora is definitely there. Look at all this greenery everywhere. It's sort of like a bamboo uh, bonsai thing going on, and we got the flowers here and plants over here. And I wonder if Mr. Gardner is, wait a minute. Wait a minute. His name is Mr. Gardner, which is almost spelled just like Gardener. Ha ha ha. Very clever, Diane. Very clever indeed. See what authors do? They leave little nuggets like that for us to discover. A garden? Well, that's a fine idea, says Mr. Gardner. Gardens are great for learning about math. Math? Jamie looked puzzled. Well, what do you mean, Mr. G? asked Sarah. In a word, measurement, Mr. Gardner answers. You can't plant a garden without measuring. Let's measure our flowers, says Mark. We, we can make this a gardening contest, says Kisha. With prizes, asked Jamie. It's a deal. Whoever grows the tallest sunflower by the last day of school will get a prize. <gasps> what is it, asked Sarah. Mr. Gardner smiles. The prize is a surprise, he says. Clever, 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 Mr. Gardner. The next day, Mr. Gardner comes to class with cups, spoons, seed packs, and a bag of clump, dirt. He tells each of the third graders to fill a cup with dirt. Sarah reads the back of the seed pack out loud. Plant seeds indoors, one inch deep in potting soil. Seeds will sprout in seven to 14 days. When seedlings are five to six inches tall, transplant outside. Ah, that gives time for the little baby plant, basically, to get a little stronger and be able to withstand the outdoors. Plant seedlings 24 inches apart from one another. Ah, that's the measurement Mr. Gardner was talking about. Some flowers will grow six to 10 feet tall in 75 to 90 days. Okay, I can see all the measuring going on. All right, but it's not hard, pretty easy. Then Mr. Gardner gives everybody a sunflower seed. Oh, this is exciting. Uh, how deep is an inch? Kisha asked. My ruler will get all messy if I stick it in this dirt. Well, Jamie says, I love making a mess. And he pokes several holes in the dirt with his thumb. <laughs> He is, me is making a mess. I give this project a big, dirty thumbs up. That's it, says Sarah. She grabs her ruler. She measures her thumb. She measures Jamie's hand and Kisha's thumb. Our thumbs are about two inches long, says Sarah. Oh, she is clever, that one. If we dig a hole and stick our thumb halfway in, that should be about one inch deep. So Sarah measures a hole with her thumb. Gunk. Then she drops in the seed, because remember, they had, a, they had a planted in one inch of soil. So she puts in the seed in that one inch hole that she made with her thumb, pats the dirt over it. She sprinkles water over the dirt. Notice it's a sprinkle, not a pour, because you don't want to drown the thing. And she whispers, grow, grow, grow. I think that definitely helps talking to the plant. 
A few weeks later, the seeds have sprouted and grown several inches. The third graders carry the cups outside, and Sarah brings the seed pack. Plant seedlings at least 24 inches apart, she reads. Wait, my ruler only has 12 inches on it, says Kisha. Well, move it twice, says Jamie. Brilliant. Or count off on Mr. G's yardstick, says Mark. Or we could just use this, says Sarah. She pushed something shiny out of her backpack. My baton is two feet long. That's 24 inches. Brilliant. So many ideas. You can use a baton, which she measured to be 24 inches, or this big yardstick, that's the teacher's, or they can use their own rulers two times. Okay, so they have to be that far apart. Why? Because we need to give the root system space to grow. If they're too close, they get tangled up in each other, compete for too much water, and they die. Please line up side by side, Mr. Gardner tells his class. The 20 students form a straight line. Sarah? I want you to put one end of your baton by your feet, Mr. Gardner says. Then he moves over to Jamie, who stands alongside Sarah. Okay, so there we go. She's got her baton there. Okay, Jamie, now you move over, move over far enough so that your feet are at the other end of the baton, he says. So Jamie moves over. Boom, he's 24 inches over. Now pass the baton to Kisha next to you, Mr. Gardner says, and keep going. So they'll all put the baton between them. The next kid will step over. So that's how they know they are standing 24 inches apart. The baton passes several times until there are five kids standing in a row. You five stay in place, says Mr. Gardner. The rest of you will start a new row. So he takes the baton and lays it down in front of Sarah. This is where the new row should start. See, so it's another 24 inches this way away. So I guess then the kids just have to get in front of these guys because they're already pre-measured. The third graders pass the baton and start three more rows of five kids each. Finally, everybody's in place. These are your rows. Mr. Gardner says, you are each 24 inches apart from your neighbors. So 24 inches this way and this way. That's pretty cool. You're 24 inches apart in all directions. That baton sure was helpful. Well, Mr. Gardner pulls out a bag of popsicle sticks. He's just full of things. And then he's full of surprises and little doodads that are going to help. There's a popsicle stick. Uh, each stick has a student's name on it. He walks down the line handing them out. Stick in the ground by the edge of your feet where the baton was. Then plant your seedling where your marker is. Perfect. That way you know which one is yours. The third graders start digging. Sarah pats the dirt around her tiny seedling. She leans over the plant and whispers, come on, grow for it. <laughs> yeah, there she is. Grow for it. I like that. Yeah, then they're very excited. They're doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, there's Joey and that's Sarah and there's Jamie. And there's Kisha. There's Mark, Sally, Pam, Dave. Patty, Tom, Dan, Flynn. Flynn went to the, use the restroom. The next morning, everyone goes out to water the sunflowers. <gasps> Uh-oh! Gasped Kisha. Somebody has been nibbling in our garden. You mean some bunny, says Sarah. And she points to a fluffy tail that quickly disappears behind a nearby bush. There he goes. Look at that brown rabbit. <gasps> oh, no. That rabbit will eat all our sunflowers, says Jamie. There goes our contest and that surprise prize. Oh, well, maybe a fence would keep hungry bunnies out, says Sarah. But how much of a fence do we need, asked Mark. Well, these are all important questions. Look at that. Can you see? There are bites, literally bites taken out. I'm going to get close up so you can see this. Look at that. Nibble, nibbled. This one's okay. Nibbled, nibbled. Oh boy, there's a lot of bites. That, that bunny was hungry. He had himself a big old sunflower leaf salad, didn't he? Hmm, says Mr. Gardner. I bet he'll come up with something. This guy's smart. I'm afraid I don't have a measuring tape handy. I could bring one tomorrow. The third graders though, looked worried. That bunny could eat all our plants by tomorrow, says Sarah. Totes true. Maybe I can find something that will help says Jamie. He empties his pockets. Out comes a comb, some coins, an action figure, several markers, and a ball of kite string. Ha! That string might do the job, says Mr. Gardner. He knows his way around little doodads, so he can probably find a good use for that. Mr. Gardner helps the class measure. Jamie walks to one corner of the garden and holds the ball of string. Let's see, where are you? Over here. Then Kisha takes the ball. She unrolls the string as she walks to another corner, then pulls the string tight. Then Sarah takes the ball of string from Kisha and does the same thing at the third corner of the garden. Then here's Mark. 
Takes a string from Sarah, goes to the fourth quarter. Mr. Gardner walks a string ball back to Jamie over here and cuts it. Cool, says Jamie. This is like a measuring tape without numbers. Exactly what he's doing. He's measuring it with the string. So that afternoon, Mr. Gardner's class troops into the garden shop. Sarah hands the woman at the counter a jumbled wad of string. We need some fencing, Sarah says. This much. The woman pulls out a measuring tape. Ah, because she has one. Jamie and Sarah stretch out the string. It goes from one end of the store to the other. Kisha holds the measuring tape while the woman pulls out the tape until it reaches the end of the string. You will need 28 feet of fencing. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fencing. Mr. Gardner and his class fence in the garden. The sunflowers grow tall and strong. After a few weeks, the whole class measures the sunflowers with string. They write their names on sticky tape. They attach their strings to the classroom wall. The bottom of every string touches the floor, but Sarah's is the shortest at the top. Hmm. Sarah remembers a show she once saw about talking to your plants to make them grow. If I want to win that prize, I better talk to my sunflowers twice a day, Sarah thinks. <gasps> Maybe even sing to it. Ah, now she's talking. I would totally sing to my plants if I could keep a plant alive. Sunny day after sunny day passes. A few days it rains. The third graders weed, water, and care for their garden. Every week, they measure their sunflowers. The string on the classroom wall grows longer. Each week, a different sunflower is the tallest, but never Sarah's. There it is, sunny day, rainy day, sunny day. They're measuring, 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 measuring. One day after school, wait a minute, I think things are about to change here because Sarah's is never the tallest, but here's Sarah. She's looking pretty happy and that's looking pretty tall. One day after school, Sarah goes out to the garden. She stands beside her sunflower. Higher, she whispers. You're a sunflower. Reach for the sun. And then Sarah starts singing to her plant. La, 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 la. Rise to the sun, sunflower. You are the tallest. Reach, reach higher. You will touch the sky. Okay, something like that. By the third song, she is dancing and pretending to play guitar. What are you doing? Calls Jamie. Sarah stops short. She buries her red face in sunflower leaves. Oh, uh, nothing. I'm um, just, just, just checking my plant for bugs. Sure she is. You think he believed her? <laughs> On the last day of school, Mr. Gardner meets his class in the garden. Oh my gosh, this is the last day, y'all. This is it. This is it. It's time to see whose sunflower stands tallest he says. Let's have a big hand for two special people who will help us judge. Welcome, Ms. Aggie and Mr. Moss from the Green Thumb Garden Club. We have to be polite and say hello. Those are our judges. Ms. Aggie calls out the names on each stick and checks the sunflower next to it with her tape measure. She whispers <laughs> the height to Mr. Moss, who writes the names and numbers on his chart. The third graders inch forward, trying to hear what Ms. Aggie is saying or see what Mr. Mr. Moss is writing here. All except for Sarah. She could not see over the taller kids. Poor kid. It's hard when you're the shorter one. Oh well. Ms. Aggie and Mr. Moss finish measuring the last plants. Close. Very close. Mr. Moss says, we have a sunflower that's 58 inches. We have a sunflower that's 59 inches. And we have a winner, says Ms. Aggie. First place prize for a five foot sunflower goes to Sarah. Everyone in the garden turns around. Mr. Gardner rolls up on a shiny red tractor. Hop up, Sarah, he says, for your prize winning ride. What? This is the most amazing prize. Sarah jumps up on the tractor's high seat. For once, I'm the tallest. And with a special wave to her big, beautiful, tall sunflower, she's off. Vroom, 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 vroom. Wow! That was not only extremely educational on how to make your own sunflower garden, 
it was extremely educational in, in learning and understanding math and how you could use it in the garden. Yes, yes, you know. Mm, mm, mm. I'll tell you the truth, uh, Storyteller. Oh, okay, yes, please. I, I only really believe in honesty here at Kid Time Story Time anyway. Well, the fact is, is that my sunflowers were planted by my gardener. That's why I had no idea about the measuring and the watering and the growing and, and well, you know, all those details about making your own garden. But frankly, your children made it look so fun and exciting and, oh, just fun to do dig into the dirt like that. Oh, he got me excited about the idea of, oh, planting my own garden next time. Oh, I'm super impressed, Olivia. I didn't really see you as somebody who gets her her beak dirty. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Well, because, you know, my background as a royally trained actress from the theater does not really denote uh, getting your hands dirty and working in the garden. But, you know, I, I have to say I, I'm a woman of many talents and I enjoy trying new things. So I I think that this sunflowers measure up story by oh we, we said Diane oh Diane hello hello thank you for the book anyway uh, thank you for the inspiration I think I'm going to go and get my tape measure and buy some dirt and some seeds and go out there and get dirty oh I can't wait well uh, it's so inspiring around here so many things blossoming and growing like ideas okay I hope you enjoyed your mathematical kid time story time and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our fabulous math and all other kinds of books see you next time keep growing